Our first step is to draw the eyes. Next, add a square with two nostrils inside that look like teardrops. Add a straight line above the eyes and then add one ear on each end. Connect the two ears by drawing a line around the face. Keep it square in shape. For the body, draw a large circle. Now our cow is dancing, so you can add the legs in whatever shape or form you'd like. During this process, you can also add whatever details you'd like. Now I decided to add some horns. Um, I changed up my eyes and added some udders as well, since cows have udders for milk, but you don't have to add that if you don't want. Later on, I also add some spots to my cow. However, there are lots of different types of cows or brown cows, black cows, spotted cows. So if you'd like your cow to be a different color, you can totally make that choice. It does not have to look like mine. As you guys can see, I also added that horizon line so that I could start working on my background a little later. Okay, now it's time for the background. I just added some simple hills and a little sun, some clouds. Um, you could also add a barn in the background if you wanted. If you could add tiny little cows dancing in the background, whatever you'd like. Now it's time to trace those lines. Grab a marker or a crayon or a colored pencil.
All right, and before we color it in, remember to erase all those pencil lines that we ended up not covering with our marker. Okay, now it's time to color. Now I did use paint, but you are more than welcome to use whatever you have at home, whether it's crayons, markers, colored pencils, paint, oil pastels, whatever it is that you have, go ahead and use that. 